Welcome back to Project Track Day. I have officially in the level 49. But what if I just gonna be doing and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit special. But good thing that I'm saying, let's doing Ford versus Ferrari for a GT lap time in Paul Ricard. As I'm just gonna be teleporting inside of Paul Ricard, which is absolutely almost night time over. Before I just absolutely wanted to go. Before I just gotta be let me know about this strategy. It will be taking for some low steps and will be taking a map for just a little bit much. And yet it's still night time. But looks like if I just gotta be starting a little bit first, it should be held at daytime. So as you can see around for this moon, where's the moon that I just seen around for this top here? So it looks like if I just gotta be starting all the way the lap times. Maybe if I just gotta be doing like this without the Aston Martin, so I just gotta be using for the GT3 Aston Martin that I say that I'm gonna be switched into the variant, which is I'm gonna be doing this first before this is some kind of just a little bit for yet. When I drive this car, this is what absolutely that I'm gonna be doing for a very much that I won't be able to do like this. Even I just gotta be doing a little bit to go on. Until I just gotta be using for just a little bit. So maybe I'm just gonna be doing later on. But we cannot able to do this until we're gonna be racing in Fuji. With the Aston Martin GTE for just a little bit once. By using the Aston Martin V8 Vintage GTE. So I'm gonna be picking out for Ferrari or Ford. Let's start with the Ford. That should be able to splend out with some night. That should be gonna be taking a little bit for this moment. Because this car won't be able to get a little bit faster than I ever expected. So looks like if I just gonna be using around for Ferrari 488 GTE. Looks like we absolutely gonna be using for this one opportunity. That we must able to find out what is gonna be the best lap ever that I'm gonna be switching on to lap times whatever. Until before tomorrow morning. I have to start using a Ford GT GTE first. Before I just gotta be using for the Ford GT race. So absolutely, if I'm not gonna be trying to do so. But looks like I'm gonna be trying this out. Whatever that I needed. So I'm just gonna be doing and will be heading us out into this only one thing. So, but only one reason that I'm gonna be making to this straight. I will gonna be making things a little bit proud. Until let's see that we're gonna be driven on track. Yes, I can see the moon setting over here. Make sure it won't be gonna be taking much time before the morning comes. But if I just gonna be went outside of the track, looks like we're splinting here and we're gonna be waiting for the morning and the sun will be coming to rise up against the moon is absolutely pretty setting right now. So if I just gonna be making all the way to this mistake, looks like we're gonna be doing this for our literally first time. I'm about to use for the chase cam first before I might gotta be taking for a little bit for under two minutes against literally right now. I'm just gonna be using for the gear first and we're absolutely gonna be starting all the way up here into its chase cam. So this is the chase cam first. Let's do this for a little bit for our very first time because it's absolutely gonna be taking for so much a little bit once as I'm gonna be using for just a little bit once in as first whatever I'm just gonna be doing for a little bit for I remember that I'm gonna be going way too fast we're gonna be getting a little bit for much worse as well resulting for two seconds penalty we won't be gonna be doing a, this at all so it looks like I'm just gonna be all risking it only by myself it looks like I'm just gonna be using for a second gear maybe I should gonna be starting a little bit slower I'm not doing just an absolute worst I'm not gonna be doing for some oversteers and understeers. And where are these players left? Now, as you can see, for the top speed inside of the Ford GT's cockpit inside of this vehicle, looks like I'm absolutely gonna be reaching up into 185 to 189 miles an hour. It should be gonna be making up to this one straight. This has gotta be always loud into 190 miles per hour. Let's see, we're just about to break it all the way around there. And it is an absolutely for an ungrateful, beautiful morning. So it looks like it's absolutely going to be taking a little bit down into its wild first. 
and go to the inside outside lane I can't see about this moment but looks like Ridge is about to making a little bit ways to get all the ways for things a little bit front so it looks like we're gonna be heading down into third gear it's simply gonna be taking for just a little bit stare I can see the Sun blazing around here in the morning as we're gonna be speak all the way down into itself by using the third gear as is AMG GT3 did so let's head start all over this time and we're gonna be starting off with this only one opportunity so as we're gonna be may completely go about this strategy let's do this for our best 1 minute and 58 seconds as I'm gonna be doing for just like this let's slow down for just a little bit and I can't see all the way with these things because of that sun just blazed it over here it's just gonna be always might be able to get for a late morning over here so it looks like I'm just gonna be using 100 board for a little bit for this time so hitting around for the third gear looks like we're just almost getting it oh no we just absolutely screwed one lap unless I won't able to get try again for this one because of that sun will be absolutely blazed all around me for this time later. once I just delayed it out for just a few minutes later it won't be absolutely gonna be satisfied this thing so maybe I should might able to get beat for the Aston Martin Vintage GTE so it looks like I'm gonna be getting onto this train I feel extremely late about what to do this 1 minute and 59 seconds which is absolutely a bad lap for something like else so it looks like we're going to be heading on to this slow lap once again for just a little bit now until I'm just going to be reaching on to this one let's head back into the fourth gear until it will be once again to do like this if before this lap time it will be absolutely going to be making necessary if I'm just going to be making all the way down into this one mistake then I'm out I'm going to be going to be taking much more strategy that I'm never going to be meant to be 0.2 seconds away from the rival if I just absolutely going to be taking for very much and the 5th gear should be going to be way more higher than I just going to be keeping on for the throttle mode we should be able to get onto this like I can say inside of that cockpit is it's going to be trying to take a little bit slower at about for 190 miles per hour on the second amount of these things as well looks like Rich has absolutely went back into chase cam before that's going to be ready 0.5 seconds behind it's going to be taking a little bit back into this moment so it looks like we just absolutely made a little bit worse until it will be going to be absolutely super lap into this moment so I'm just going to be taking a little bit of inside so head on to the fourth gear I don't want to get corner cuts every since it will be going to be absolutely taking much very much time so this is still not exactly that it's going to be getting a little bit worse. So this is something kind of just a very much moment. I think this is absolutely going to be taking a little bit of advantage. But only things to do like it's last moments that before we're going to be end up this video. Now I just absolutely going to be taking for this to try. And then we just absolutely made it without corner cuts everything as we absolutely finish. 1 minute and 57.662 let us get back into the garage and it will be my taking for around for this strategy so it looks like Aston Martin just almost caught me up for just a little bit now next thing is the Ferrari 488 GTE so absolutely I gotta be using for this amount of one vehicle before I must go entry for this vehicle absolutely gotta be taking for just a little bit much as well it won't be going to be taking around for cockpit first before I must take in for its own one opportunity. So before we're going to be making to the end of this video, I might what absolutely whatever we do, I must take in for a little bit amount of lap times before and after some kind of cockpit until this one. So absolutely going to be taking for this one. We'll be going to be absolutely will be absolutely try to do so. As anyway, we're going to be taking for this only one strategy and one foot to the pedal until as well we're we'll going to be taking around for this a very serious corner cuts and very serious penalties as well and it does not absolutely going to be taking all the way down here until this lap time 
does not absolutely gonna be counted whatever it is much later so before we're gonna be end of this video we're inside of the afternoon session if i just gonna be making things a little bit worse and it's time to use for the pg motorsport mode that i'm using for the first gear and it's time to make things a little bit more stressful than i never gonna be meant to be so before we're gonna be taking those out looks like we're feeling a little bit for something kind of just a little bit but more like these things let's push out for a little bit for just only one thing so before we're gonna be putting ourselves into the first corner well absolutely that i'm just gonna be doing for our best things a little bit right but the first sector will be insanely gonna be very little bit good oh no i just almost gonna be making through this out but the first thing that i never able to say am i going to get oversteer for the first time until 0.4 seconds behind until this first mention that I'm gonna be able to see. So absolutely gonna be taking a little bit much as well, fast as I could. But before we're gonna be back onto this strategy, let's take on inside of the onboard view. We're officially feeling so delayed about for this one. I just might be able to do like this for only one lap to take about this advantage. But looks like until 187 miles per hour, it is absolutely it feels a little bit slow. 188 miles per hour. It's gonna be taking around for the fifth gear, but looks like it won't be absolutely gonna be taking around for back to PG mode for mode. So it looks like we're just absolutely gonna be taking all the way down, and the slower lap times should be Ferrari. So whatever it takes to be, it won't be gonna be taking about for much. Take on the outside first. Before we're going to be taking on the inside lane and this should be going to be absolutely taking for so much best lap times before our last lap times will be at 30. I think this is absolutely going to be making all the way down here until second gear should be going to be way to be more first and second gear, third gear and we absolutely did made it as well. 157 means 157 461 oh my gosh that was absolutely pretty insane and the ferrari is even literally more faster than ford because ford anyways will be absolutely pretty serious but when absolutely i jump out of this car and that is the end of the video so if you enjoy for this some kind of video i hit by the audi because don't worry just leave a like and subscribe and click that bell thanks for watching that i absolutely did it for it's very yesterday that i'm gonna be trying to do so the final ways should be gonna be in fuji but until until later on and thanks for watching this is triple concept signing off and have you enjoyed for this wedding video for just a little bit for a very great times as well so thanks for watching about this moment and this video is for american and european viewers only and Italian as well. Turbo Concept is signing off and I'll talk to you guys all later over and out.